What's going on people, it is Harvey back with another video and today I'm going to be reacting to YouTubers getting injured and giving you my physio point of view on it and most importantly telling you if it's a real injury or a fake injury. But before we get into the video, hit that like button now, smash that subscribe button now and turn the notification bells on. So the first injury we're going to be reacting to is when Harry also known as Rotor Shaw, pulls off his roof onto his dad's car. Alright, so Harry is a madman. I see him pull off stunts all the time in videos and most of his stunts are real. This one, when he falls off the roof and onto his dad's car, I can confirm that is real because you can see no one in their right state of mind would want to do that. This could have been so much more worse if he actually fell through the car rather than denting it because he would have get he would have got so many lacerations, so many cuts, but he managed to come out safe and only have one graze on his elbow. That's a real accident. So the next one is Logan Paul's famous hamstring injury. This was prior to the Challenger Games where he goes, he's the fastest man in the world or the fastest YouTuber in the world. Um, I highly doubt that even if he didn't have the hamstring injury. Let me just break this down a little bit. So prior to the Challengers event, uh, Logan Paul had a basketball match, a celebrity basketball match, and I believe he pulled his hamstring then and he blamed Snoop Dogg for it. And then obviously he was training for the Challenger Games and his hamstring just was not recovering. However, he still gave it a shot. He attempted the 100 meters, but immediately straight away, his hamstring gave way. As you can see in the pictures, it was a severe hamstring injury. But if you want my honest, honest opinion, on this one, I have to sit on the fence a little bit. There's a few reasons why I believe this is a real injury, and there's a few reasons why I think this is a fake injury. And I'll leave it to you guys to decide in the comments if it was real or fake. The first thing why I believe this was a real injury because he mentioned uh, prior to the Challenger Games that he did have a hamstring problem and he did pull his hamstring in the um, celebrity basketball match I believe. Second reason I believe this is real um, is the bruising colour. As you can see it's purple and that is usually the bruising colour. That's usually the beginning phases of the bruising colour when you get a strain. The third reason is the leg swelling. As you can see here there's swelling around his leg but here there's no swelling around his leg. However, so the reason why I think this may be fake is due to the entertainment side. I understand how the YouTube game works. When you see Logan Paul coming off the 100 meter blocks, you can see there was no effort given at the start. It was just like he started limping straight away. Whereas if you type in on YouTube examples of a hamstring strain, you'll see when the person is running, they'll get a sudden pull and they'll feel for the back of their hamstrings or you'll see an immediate reaction in their face with this one, it was kind of a delayed reaction and Logan Paul looks behind to see if there's anyone with him. So it was a bit shady on that side. Also, another reason why the injury can be fake. As you can see at the back of Logan Paul's thigh, there's bruising at the bottom and there's bruising at the top. There's no bruising in the middle, so there's no continuous pattern, which leads me to believe that the strain of the hamstring pull happened in two different locations of the hamstring which is very very rare again if you google hamstring strain or hamstring injury you'll see a more of a continuous pattern rather than bruising in two different places so yeah i'm going to leave that for you guys to decide and let me know in the comments if you believe that was real or fake so another injury we're going to be reacting to is when uh cal Freezy trips over ksi in the side main charity football game so let's get into the video it is ksi He's already beaten Kallax. Oh! Oh, he's... Oh! To me, that looks like a dive. What he's rolling everywhere. Injury. What is he doing? Sorry, what is he doing? So, I didn't know KSI then, but I know him now, and he's an animated character. So, I'm sorry to burst your bubble, guys, but that was fake. Did you see how many times he jumped? How many times he rolled around? That was a 100% fake injury. KSI did not get injured from that. That was just an overreaction, maybe to get the referee to send Cal Freezy off 
or um, to get some attention from the crowd, but that was a fake injury. All right, last but not least, Harry, aka Roadshaw's mum, when Harry was filming a video and he was supposed to knock some um, drinks over, but he ended up hitting his mum in the face. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Oh. All right, now that was 100% real. There's no denying that Harry kicked his mum. <laughs> I was about to say Harry kicked his mum in the face. Harry kicked the football at his mum's face. However, as you can see in the clip, the ball hit Harry's mum's face, not nose. So where you see the bleeding of Harry's mum's nose, I think that's tomato ketchup or that's tomato puree or something like that. I believe that ball hit Harry's mum's face here and not on the nose. So that was me reacting to YouTubers getting injured. Be sure to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bells on. Peace!